Hello everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer. I have a website at 646 Studios and I'm a photographer and amateur videographer. And I want to talk about the Sony menu system. Because there's a lot of content out there that puts the Sony menu system at this state where it's bad. And it's not. And let me explain why. As a Sony A mount user for the last six years and as a E mount user for the last five years, I have to say that the Sony menu system has gotten much better, which you might say, no, it has not. The color science got much better for the e mount system, which you may say it has not. But what if I was to tell you that the Sony system was actually really designed for us, photographers and videographers, to customize based on our needs? Because there were conversations like eight years ago about why can we not have a, a camera with the with the customization to customize the buttons the way we want it but now Sony has done that we are crying we are complaining we are making a fuss about the menu system which we should not be making fun of the menu system because the menu system is there for us to customize based on our preference how we shoot not everyone shoots the exact same way and this is why Sony adds and adds and adds more features to their system each time a new camera body comes out. Just like we wanted a module smartphone where we can swap out the camera, place it with another camera lens or sensor or battery or storage drive. Well, imagine Sony mirrorless cameras as that module system where we can customize the menu system based on our preference how we shoot as photographers and videographers. It's not meant to be perfect because it's actually designed to be fundamentally based on how we shoot. Not because, oh, straight out the box, it's going to work. No, it does not work that way. No camera in the world works straight out the box the way you want it. That is just foolish thinking and wishful thinking. It's based on how we set it up. Not everyone's going to set up the back focus button, the same button layout. That's just being truthful as a photographer. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time because I see this argument online constant and constant and constant. When someone gets a new camera from Sony, they always say something bad about the menu system. And the reality of it is it's not a bad system because it's meant to be customizable, period. Stop pushing content that is negative about the menu system and if you take a look at the menu system it is there to customize every single button on the camera so why I'm making this video because I want the argument to stop I want the the the, the falsification about the menu system that Sony put that, that Sony provides to us as photographers and videographers artists to say that the menu system is just there for us to customize. It's not up to Sony to customize it for us because we Sony doesn't know what or how I shoot portraits or landscapes or time lapses. It is there for us to customize the button layout entirely. They gave us the EVF, be happy about that. They gave us mirrorless that has gotten much better. Color science on the email system has gotten much, much better. And I really, really, I'm not a fanboy of Sony because I used Canon, Nikon, and I used a, what was it, the Pentax, some, what was that? I don't remember the name of the camera because it was short lived. But the point of this video is that stop making the falsification about how Sony's menu system is terrible when it's not terrible. It's a menu system meant for customization, period. And as a photographer, I cannot stress this enough. So, if you find any content on YouTube that says the Sony menu system is just claustrophobic, it's just everywhere, this is in the wrong tab and that's in the wrong tab, no it's not in the wrong tab, it's based on customization, it is there in the right tab, you just gotta think about where it actually needs to be placed for your needs as a videographer and photographer, simple as that. I'm the panel photographer, I've been shooting with Sony ever since, I have no problem with the menu system, I discovered this issue and I used to have the same complaint until I realized the menu system is just there for me to customize the way I want. That's why you have modes 
in numbers like one, two, three mode on the dial where you can customize for portraits, landscapes, or video. You're gonna do whatever you want, nature, landscapes, and time lapses, or video portraits. It's there. And as the pen photographer, we're only trying to provide content that makes sense. Now, if you want to subscribe to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out to grow on this channel. Subscribe, uh, hit the notification button if it still works. But please do share, do like, share it on the Facebook uh, groups that you have. But you can also support this channel financially. Links are down in the descriptions below. All information is down below in the descriptions. But with that said, eat, sleep, photography, videography, and repeat. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.